Hello. So you know me, I like to change it up. So I kind of miss being in front of the camera. I've done some shorts in front of the camera. Um, so I just thought I would do a couple more, do a couple readings in front of the camera, but I'm still gonna do the ones where I'm showing just the cards. So it might be a mix here and there. So today we're just gonna do the old style. What I would used to do, I was doing the, um, Celtic Cross, which I'll definitely do readings with those because you know I post many videos a day. Um, but this one I'm going to do the old style where it's, you know, what are you dealing with? So we have the Eight of uh, eight of Swords. So I feel like maybe today you're kind of holding yourself back. Like I said before that this Eight of Swords can mean a couple different things. It can mean that you're holding yourself back, that you're you're doing things to hold yourself back, or it could also mean that you are ready to spring forward, that you are ready to move forward because we have the sun that is in the middle of our hands there and she's ready, it, the sun is ready to burst forth. It's ready to come forward. Like you're ready to come out. You're ready to move out of sort of that hermit mode that you've been in. So the challenge is this, are you ready to come out or are you still holding yourself back? All right, and then what do you need to look at? We need, you need to look at the nine of pentacles, which is those rewards for those things that you're doing, right? Those rewards for moving forward, those rewards for not holding yourself back, those rewards for taking on challenges, thinking outside of the box, um, pushing yourself, obviously not to a point in a negative way, but pushing yourself to challenge yourself to, if you see that there's something going on that's bothering you, if you see that you're struggling with something, you're not going to stay in that energy, that you're going to move forward with that, you're going to move away from that, and you're gonna, look at things from a different perspective so that because you're looking out for yourself right like you're being your own best friend that you're seeing okay I'm struggling with something how do I change this you know what's my different perspective how do I see this differently we have energy that's coming in and we have the magician which I love that because to me the magician is powerful he's strong he figures out solutions, right? Um, I feel like with these all go together very well because if you're struggling and you're holding yourself back, you have to look at the rewards for, okay, if I push myself and I might challenge myself, and that helps to build your confidence, right? That helps you to feel stronger. That helps you to feel more powerful, and that helps you to reclaim your own power that you're not giving your power you're not giving your energy over to a situation whether it's a person or a situation that if you're holding yourself back for whatever reason that it's you're in charge of removing yourself from that energy you're in charge of getting yourself out of that energy to not sit around and wait for things to happen that you make things happen which I feel like that goes very well with the magician is you make things happen and you have the power to do that all right this is just gonna be a quick reading so let's grab some wisdom Oracle I feel like these two wanted to pop out so we have community surrounding yourself with people and energies and things that help you to feel positive that help you to break free from this that positive community right that um that community that's supportive i feel like that's what you need to focus on and then we have blessed which i feel represents focusing on those positive things like what's in your plus column don't look at what's in your negative column which makes you regress and which makes you hold yourself back. Focus on what do you have in your positive column? What do you have going for you? What is that energy that you can focus on that, hey, yeah, I've accomplished these things, I've done these things, this is in my plus column. And what are those things that you can focus on for today? All right, and let's get a Star Dragons and then probably an Animal Oracle. 
So Star Dragon's energy for this reading. We have understanding, looking at both sides. I feel like this is really good because it's looking at both sides. Okay, if I continue to stay in this energy of the Eight of Swords, if I continue to stay in this energy, where is that going to get me? What's going to happen with that? If I push myself and get myself out of this energy, where does that lead me to, right? Where does that lead me to if I take on those challenges? And looking at both sides and saying, okay, do I need more time to process something? Have I processed it long enough? Is it time to change things up? You know, asking yourself those questions, and I feel like that's what this card is, is asking yourself those questions as, if I don't do something, what does that look like? If, like, if I do do something, what does that look like? And then let's grab, let's grab an animal oracle for energy for this reading. Oh, we had this one that just turned over. We have groundhog spirit, time to let go. And what do you need to let go of? <laughs> this. It's time to let go. Obviously, you have to make the choice and the decisions that are best for you. I'm not telling you what you have to do, but the cards are saying it's time to let go. It's time to move on. It's time to move forward. It's time to embrace this energy. It's time to focus on those positive things. And have you been in this energy long enough? And is it time to move forward? And I feel like that's what you need to focus on and that's what you need to look at. And sometimes you just need that person that says, hey, it's time to let go. It's time to move on. It's, it's time to make some changes that life goes by so quickly and you don't want to waste any more time feeling shut down or holding yourself back from those goals and those things that you want to accomplish and achieve. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.